Today I am doing a vlog of my kidney donation process to see if I can be a kidney donor for Andrea Nason, who is Carolyn Rothman's mom, who is a writer here in Wellington. And we are going to watch my process for kidney donation. So I'm calling Miami Transplant Institute, and then we are going to also talk to her husband, um, Al Gooden, who owns a bunch of horses here in Wellington as well. So we're going to talk to him about her current status and a little bit of information about the kidney donation process and where she is at. And then uh, if you're interested in either donating or sharing some of the information, you can either click the video below or click on any of the links from Facebook to find out more information about what you need to do to donate or message us on Facebook to find out more about what you need to do to donate a kidney for Andrea. The point where she was in a in a stage where they thought it would be really smart to start looking for for a kidney. Uh, what is your relationship to Andrea? Uh, she's a friend of mine. For how many years have you known her? Uh, three. Stages when you when you go through getting a, uh, you know, getting matched with a donor. One is, you know, the blood type. Okay, do you have any allergies to shellfish or eggplant? No. Do you have any allergies to food or medication? No. Do you have children? No. Have you ever had any kidney problems or problems with kidney disease? No, I have not. No, I have not. Have you ever had a positive tuberculosis? No, I have not. Second thing after they, they determine that your blood type is compatible is that there are some markers in your blood, and I don't know what they're called, but I, I think they, what they have, there are six of them that they, that they match. Okay. Um, you don't have to match all six. Uh, sometimes they go and two will be good enough, sometimes three. The more you get, obviously, the better off you are. So that's step number two. Step number three is when they do the, they, they, basically, they, they basically put the two bloods together and see if there's a war. Check your blood type and see if you're compatible with Andrea. Also, we, we need you to take your blood pressure for five consecutive days twice a day. Okay. And, and just document it and then send it back to us. So is that... Uh, how long does it take to go through the process? It take three months. Um, I have to allow for you to log your blood pressure. Okay. Okay. Yep. And once we know if your blood type is compatible, um, we can bring you to clinic here. The clinic visit here is when you are with the doctor, the nurse, and all of the medical things are covered by Andrea's insurance. I think the things that we are allowed to pay for would be things like um, if you, you know, if you're living someplace else and you have to get from there to here, uh, transportation, hotel, that kind of thing. Thank you so much. You have a great day. All right. Thanks. You too. That was easy. Um, if somebody wants to help out but they feel like they are not a good candidate to be a donor, mm -hmm. uh, what can they do? Share the videos, the, anything about the, the website, the Facebook page, just get the word out. She does, she, she does need help here and, and we, we just would really hope that, that somebody out there uh, can donate.